Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a lovely week. If you are new here, thank you so much for subscribing. And if you're an old subscriber and OG, thank you for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please make sure that you like this video and also follow me over on Instagram at home with live. Um, and yeah, let's get started. So I have Arlo here with me now, eating your rusky, aren't you? You've been a messy poo poo. So he's just eating his rusk there in the background and I'm going to be doing this video on teething essentials. So I have basically gone through a huge range of different items that people told me would really work, that haven't worked. Um, and basically going through all the different teething items that are on the market, the main ones anyway, and telling you the pros and cons of them basically and essentially I'm gonna be counting from eight being the least effective to one being the most effective. So I'm basically ranking these items. Yeah, number eight, so this is the least effective for Arlo, has been Calpol. A lot of people have actually since told me that Calpol doesn't help at all, it doesn't help with the pain. It's mostly for like headaches and other things, but it really doesn't help with teething. Um, I used to try this quite a lot and I used to be like, oh, why is it not working? It should be working. But no, it doesn't work for teething, so don't bother trying it. So number seven, we have the, so this is the second least effective for Arlo, has been the um, Matchstick Monkey, or in this case, we've got the Nubby Elephant. So, <laughs> yeah. So he loves this because he can hold it. It's really like a really good whip and he's got different bits on there to chew and things like that. However, Arlo just doesn't seem to chew it. I don't know why he puts everything in his mouth but this. Honestly, I don't know what it is about it, but he would rather play with it than chew it. It obviously may be different for different babies, and I know that there is a matchstick monkey, which is really highly rated that we haven't tried, but this is like the nubby equivalent, so it's like the elephant nubby um, teething ring. This hasn't really been much of a help recently. Um, I don't know whether it's gonna help more with like his back teeth, because his front teeth are the ones that are coming through. But yeah, I'm not been too pleased with this, to be honest. Um, so that was number seven. Number six would be the um, nubby teething bib. So these are great just to have on any way, to be honest. Just like with teething, there comes quite a lot of dribble and a lot of draw and stuff. So you're gonna have to have like a bib on anyway most of the time when they're teething really badly. So this is a great alternative because it goes around their neck like that and then um, it's like reversible as well. And then on the bottom of it, it's got this little teething um, strip, which is all textured and they can pop it in their mouth. See, Arlo just doesn't put it in his mouth. I don't think he realizes, like I'll go to put it in his mouth and he'll just spit it back out and he won't pick it up again. So I don't think he really understands and realizes the purpose of it. So for that reason, I'm rating it a six. So now we are into the top five. So these are the best five items. So I would say number five is going to have to be the nubby teething ring. Everyone raves about this and it has been good for us in some regards. I know some people put it in like the fridge or the freezer or whatever. We haven't tried to do that. Um, but it is good because it's got the different gel bits and it's also um, just like a really fun toy for him to play with. It's got all the different colors and he can grasp it easily. It's got different textures and stuff like that. So he uses it more as a toy than actually like a teething ring. Um, I know some people swear by it and their babies love it and maybe Arlo will be different in the future. But for the meantime, he hasn't really been like obsessed with it in terms of like teething. Um, so I'm going to rate it as a five out of eight. Um, it is still good though. So it is definitely worth still trying it out and seeing what works for your baby because every baby is going to be different. So number four for us would be the Ashton's and Parsons teething powder. 
So, I don't know whether you can see that. It comes in a little box, and then basically what you do is you rip open one of the um, like sachets, and you basically put their head back, open their mouth like that, and pour half of it in. Um, I find that with effective nurse, straight away I seem to see a difference for about yeah so effectiveness I seem to see straight away for about a five minute period I don't know whether because it, it's just a distraction or something it seems to it seems to be effective um, but then after that it just doesn't seem to work very well um, so I'm not really too pleased with that. Everyone was raving about it and telling me that I really need to get it. And I know that some people have used it and it's been amazing. But for Arlo, for some reason, it has not been amazing. It helps as like a distraction, I think, more than actually taking the pain away. Um, so we're down to the top three now. So these are the best three TV items that we've used. So number three, I'm going to go in with the Nubby teething ring i don't know what the different what the actual name is actually i'm gonna to have to find it and link it below for you because this is the nubby key teething ring i think it is and then this is the nubby teething ring um so we got this really on a whim i've never heard of it before but i wanted to try it and i liked it because it on the packet it said it had three different areas which basically specialize in um helping to relieve the teething pain but on the different areas of the mouth when they're teething. So this bit here is the front bit, so they're for the front teeth. These are for the middle, I believe, and then these ones are for the back. Um, and they've obviously got the different textures and they've also got the crinkly colored bits on there as well, just so they grab it more and they're more drawn to it. So he does really like this and it has been effective. Um, again, these things I think are just for a distraction rather than actually helping to relieve the pain. But this one is definitely worth a try. I'd say this one's better than the nubby teething ring for us anyway. So definitely give that one a try. So down to the top two now. So even though these are the top two, I still want to stress that they're not always going to be effective. In fact, there has been more times than often that I have tried all of these things and nothing has worked because sometimes when the teeth are coming down through the gums it is just so painful that nothing you give them is actually going to help um so it takes the edge off a bit but still you may find that teething is still a problem so number two i'm going to go in with the ambazole before arlo was teething everyone went on and on about the ambazole products the liquid one we've got and they said it will help you need to get it um, it's amazing we have tried it a lot of times and sometimes it does work but it's not completely effective and, and there are there is a better product in a minute that I will show you that has worked better for Arlo than the Ambisol so um, this is the basically it says antiseptic and anesthetic for quick acting and effective pain relief for recurrent mouth ulcers, denture irritation. So this one is for babies and adults. Let me just hold it up for you. I don't know whether you can see that. I've always put my hand on it. Yeah, so it's Ambisol liquid um, and I got mine. So I couldn't find any for ages. I went into like different pharmacies and things like that. Eventually I found some that was available to order from Boots and I did a click and collect at Boots. So if you are stuck and can't find any anywhere, look um, online at Boots to find that. So this is the Ambazol. So number one, I would say is the most effective pain relief and actually can be used in conjunction with some of the other things we've got in here is the Bongella. So the Bongella soothing gel. So what I do is I grab the nubby teething ring um, and because it's his front teeth at the minute I use this bit, I just squirt a little bit on here. I stick it in his mouth and I sort of rub it around the gum area um, and then he can use this along with the Bongella and that is the best duo that I've found so far to help teething. And I guess you probably could do it with the nubby keys as well, but there's not so much to Hello. There's not so much of a textured surface. Here we go, baby. 
there's not so much of a textured surface on the nubby keys than there is with these. Let me just show you different bits. Yeah, so there's a lot more texturized surfaces on here. So you just pop a little bit of Bongella on there, rub it on their gums when it's in their mouth, and then just let them grab it and play with it basically, and chew on, chew down onto it. So they would be my top um, teething items that I have used so far. Um, let me know below if there's any that you've used that I haven't mentioned. Um, because I would love to try them. I'm so open to trying anything for teething because when it is bad, everyone is affected in the house. It's not just Arlo, it's everyone. He um, tends to just sort of scream all day and nothing will really help to be honest. Some things will take the edge off. Um, but as I say, the best combination. Yes, baby. As I say, the best combination to use for us has been the Nubby Teething Ring and the Bongella together. Thank you so much for watching this video and um, make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also follow me over on Instagram at home with Liv. I um, will be doing some more different videos like this, just trying lots of things out and then sort of reporting back to you. Bless you. Bless you, baby reporting back to you to tell you what worked what didn't work so well and hopefully it can help somebody um because teething is hard it is a difficult time um and i don't think i was prepared enough <laughs> before he started teething i wasn't really prepared however it is broken up there are days where he is fine like today he's pretty much fine um in fact all week he's been all right but then when just before the teeth are coming through you can tell um they get very very moody whiny clingy um and they go into aren't they they're just in so much pain and i can't even imagine what it would feel like all of these teeth come through and then eventually they fall out don't they for their adult teeth to come through so it is a big thing for a baby um and i am sending my love if you're going through the same thing thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope that it helped you in some way thank you arlo you're all messy now aren't you with your rusky um yeah so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one guys bye Every detail in my